Hello, I'm Travis Lenz. My company is Green Conversions, and I'm just going to take you through this conversion on my vehicle. Um, first off, I just have a simple marine six-gallon fuel tank for vegetable oil. This truck is a VW the Rabbit pickup. It gets like 50 miles a gallon, so that's plenty. And I've got it hooked up to this marine hose with a hand bulb for priming. Prime, prime, prime. And it's always important to make sure that you have a way to release air so you don't get vacuum out of your tank. So right now I actually have the lid loose and a bag on it, so just to make sure that it's not pulling a vacuum. So the hose goes underneath and then basically it goes into my heat exchanger. Um, and this is my conversion kit except for the fact that I've got two used heat exchangers that I had kicking around so rather than my conversion kit has uh, 16 plates stainless steel heat exchangers. But anyway, the fuel comes in, basically goes through one heat exchanger, in and out, comes out, goes into my strainer filter combination, and then it goes into my three-way valve. And then normally diesel is coming in the bottom, and then when you switch to vegetable oil, then it comes through the top. I've also got a vacuum gauge to show me when the filter needs to be changed. And then it goes into the second heat exchanger. And this here is a T, and that's for looping the fuel return so that you don't send vegetable oil back to your diesel tank. Second heat exchanger after the three-way valve, so all fuel goes through this heat exchanger, heats up, comes through, and basically this here, I got a wrapped in insulation and tape is my temperature switch, which automatically detects the right temperature of fuel for switching to vegetable oil, and then that goes into the injection pump. Like I said, the fuel return coming from here, I have a clear section of tubing on my kit so you can see if there's any air bubbles and it just loops right back in. It works fine as long as you don't have any air. If you've got an air leak, it's going to cause you problems because the air can't be purged out. Um, and then the basic wires to control the valve come from here, and the wires for the temperature switch come from here, and then they go into the corner of my vehicle, down into there, and then I've got my control box, just a simple box that I located down in here, and bypass, turns on, it energizes, turn it off, and then this one is the temperature switch. Turn that on, the light doesn't come on, that means we don't have minimum temperature. So you just turn it on and drive, and when it hits temperature, it automatically switches, the light comes on, and you're running on mesh foil. So that's basically how my kit operates. So they're patent pending, that's using the temperature switch to control the fuel. It's a mechanical switch, bimetallic, and uh, very trouble-free, doesn't cause any issues. If you use controllers, you run into all sorts of issues, but this is mechanical, simple, reliable, and this is a tried and proven system. So definitely highly recommend it. Signing off.